Right. But I do have one request. I do apologize. Um, can you take off the hat? I can, yes. Okay, thank you. Yes, I appreciate yes, that. <laughs> appreciate that. <laughs> yes, ma'am. I was like, what is underneath yes, that? Yes, ma'am. No, you, yes, ma'am. I am bald headed. Yeah. And uh, what are some things you look for in a woman? I'm looking for a future wife, you know, a role model for my daughter. So I guess I'm looking for intelligence, um, modesty, and respect. Okay. And yeah. so do you have a daughter? For my future daughter. You, okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> if I have one. Got it. And now what are some of your deal breakers? Deal breakers, I don't really like loud, ghetto, disrespectful. Okay. Yeah, All right. deal breaker, so. Got it. Because I'm going to go ahead and switch it on over to you. And okay. you're going to actually be doing the pop-in for this first round. So let me oh, give okay. you a pick. Okay. All right. All right. There you Sounds go. Good. And for this first round, I'm going to have you pop three balloons okay. based off of what you're seeing. Whoever doesn't really fall too much into your type, whatever it is, gotcha. go ahead and pop those three. And then I'll ask why you ended up popping afterwards. Sounds good. Okay. Okay, two more. One more. Okay, you can stay down there. We'll start over there. All right, your name and age? Shannon, and I'm 27. Okay. And Shannon, why did you have your balloon unpopped? Uh, it seemed like you had some common goals and mine, same thing for me. So just going to keep it, see what you had to say. I almost popped at daughter. I thought you said daughter. I said, oh. You see what I had to clarify? Yes, yes. <laughs> all right. And so why did we end up popping her balloon? Uh, just based off, you know, attraction of all the ladies. I just had to choose three. So, you know, we're just looking and that's what I chose. So. Okay. Yeah. Fair. Yep. Thank you. And then we did get one more over here. Your name and age. Hi, I'm Derek. I'm 31. Okay. And Derricka, why did you have your balloon unpopped? He's attractive. I just wanted to hear more about him. Okay. Got it. And why did we end up picking her? She looks great. Um, it's just, you know, there's a lot of selection right here. So just had to choose one, three, so. I just, thought he was going to pop on me because he said modesty. And, you oh, know. You look, you look good. I you think look, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, thank you. And then there was one more. Your name and age. I'm Keela. I'm 26. Okay. Nice to meet you. And Keela, why did you have your balloon unpopped? Um, just to hear him out. Give some grace. See what he has to say and give him this opportunity. Okay, nice. Okay. Appreciate that. Give us a different response. Okay, Why'd different you pop response. hers? Um, <laughs> you know, a, m probably more athletic build I'm looking for, so maybe that's why it's part of it. Yeah, I'm not a good one, really. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know. She look great, though. You Thank you. Good. I appreciate it. I've seen a few episodes of this show, and there's almost always a contestant who fails to dress appropriately. This is an observation with both the male and female guests. Why would anyone be comfortable showing up like this for a dating show where the goal is to find serious relationships? Well, I understand. Yeah. <laughs> Thank yes. you. All right, let's head on back. So for this next round, I am going to have you ask the remaining ladies a question just to okay. see, you know, who's more your type. Uh, so what is your practice in religion? Like is it astronomy, the universe, Christianity, Muslim? What's your, uh, you know, religion? Okay, let's start here with your name and age. I'm Tiana, I'm 26, and I'm a Christian. Okay, nice. My name is Brittany, I'm 28, and I'm also a Christian, but I'm on a journey right now. Gotcha. Let's go over here, name and age, and answer this question. Angelique, 32, I'm a Christian. Gotcha. Right over here, your name and age, and what is your religion? Shiloh, 27, I believe in God, but I don't really bond with like a specific religion yet. Gotcha. Here, your name and age, and what's your religion? Tyra, 31. I'm Christian. And oh, name and age, and answer to his question. Hi, I'm Mercedes. I'm 26. Actually, I'm 27. Sorry. Okay. And <laughs> I am spiritual, but I don't follow a certain religion. Gotcha. Nice. Now, what about for yourself? What's yours? I am a Christian. Okay. Okay. So. So you had a lot of questions in this lineup. All right. So. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh, he's already ready. He knows. Okay, go ahead. Pop two. All right. Uh-huh. All, right. no. <laughs> All right. Let's start down here. So I know you just said you're a Christian. Yeah. Is that part of the reason you end up popping her? Yeah, definitely. Okay. Got so, you know, I just want to, you know, raise a Christian household. So I just want to make sure my wife is similar. So Understandable. Yeah. All right. So why did you have your balloon unpopped for him? Um, he seems like he's very calm. And that's what I'm definitely looking for. And he's very attractive. Oh, appreciate Thank that. You. Thank you. And then we popped one over here. So why did we end up popping hers? 
I don't want to convert nobody. You know, if, if you you are who you are, you know. I mean, I, it's not that I don't want to convert nobody because I want everybody to follow Jesus. But you know, I'm not trying to you know be unequally yoked. So yeah. I completely understand that because I was I grew up Muslim and my okay. mother's Christian, so I I know both sides. Oh, yeah. And right now I'm on my journey because gotcha. I'm reading the Bible, trying to like, and I don't like people to tell me what to do. I want to follow it myself, so I understand gotcha. and I respect it. Everyone's on a journey of some sort nowadays, aren't they? It's either a spiritual journey or a weight loss journey, financial journey, mental health journey. Look at me in the windows to my soul. Shut the fuck up. Gotcha. And so why did you have your balloon unpopped? Well, he's definitely my type. My exes look like him, so. Oh. <laughs> All right, well, let's line up everybody looks like him back here. <laughs> but yeah. Thank you. All right. <laughs> So we do have four ladies remaining. Go yes. ahead and ask them another question. Um, so this is more like a hypothetical question. So, you know, say we, you know, we make it work, we're getting married and stuff like that, and we're about to go buy a car. Say I transfer you six grand to go put a down payment on a brand new car, or you can go buy a used car. Which car are you buying and why? <laughs> okay. Take time to think about it. Let's start down there, and then we'll come back up this way. <laughs> All right, six grand. What you doing with it? Who's the car for? For you. I'm getting the new car. <laughs> yes. Gotcha. For my family, and if I want to be protected and stable, I need a car that's going to get me from point A to point B with my kids. Gotcha. Absolutely. That makes sense. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Over here. All right. What are you doing with the six grand? <laughs> yeah. Okay, we said the car is for us, right? Yes. Okay, honestly, I feel like it depends on what my car is looking like at that time, mm -hmm. right? Like, my car right now is used, and the next car I buy will probably be new just mm -hmm. because of where I am in life. So I think it depends, but nine times out of ten, I'm going to get a fairly new mm -hmm. car. Gotcha. It don't have to be drive out the lot new, but it's mm -hmm. going to be fairly new if it's for me, depending on where I'm at okay. with the vehicle I'm currently driving. Gotcha. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I like it. All right. Let's hear from you, Brittany. I'm probably going to say a new car mm -hmm. only because I know it probably won't be no issues with it. Mm -hmm. And if I get a used car, I might have to put more money down. That's, right. you know, that's spending more money than the six grand. So yeah. it just makes more sense to get a new car. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right. Let's hear over here. Okay. So I do want to ask, do we have our own individual cars already? Well, let's just say you don't, just hypothetically, you don't. I, we, don't. I have a car maybe. And right now you don't have a car and then we're together and you know, we got six grand to put either a down payment or buy, you know, a used one. Which car are you choosing? Okay, so if I don't have a car, then I'm going to get any car I can get if that's used right. or new. <laughs> right, right. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. Gotcha. All right. All right. Wait, should we ask him? What would he do? Yeah. What you doing? What I do? <laughs> yes. Well, I mean, depending on the situation, I mean, I like to, honestly, I like to buy my cars used, to be real with you. Like, a working car that's fine or give me point A to point B. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, yeah. All right. So based off of that, which one of these ladies' balloons are you popping? Okay. All right. So, so Tyra, why did you have your balloon unpopped? Um, he carried himself well, very attractive. Um, I'm not the type of person to pop my balloon just based off the looks, essentially. <laughs> um, so... I just left it unpopped. Okay, got it. So why do we end up popping hers? Um, you know, I just want to be, you know, compatible. Imagine how easy the elimination process would be if the ladies' Instagram pages were featured on the show. Check this out. Who I'm with and, like, I'm, I'm big on, like, financial stability, financial, you know, acuity. So I feel like cars are can be a hindrance to your future. So that's why mainly yes. why I pop Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Let's head on back. It is time to pop a balloon. Just one balloon? Okay. Just one. Gotcha. All right. Okay. So why did we have our balloon unpopped? He's cool. Different from what I usually like. He's calm, which is pretty nice and well-spoken. He dressed nice. Thank You're you. attractive, so. Thank you. You're welcome. So why did we end up popping hers? Uh, just, you know, had to pop one. I, the other two girls, I think. You know, definitely more my type, so, okay. yeah. Thank All you. Right. Mm -hmm. All right, ladies, any questions for him? Oh, you got, well, she's ready. <laughs> <laughs> I need you to clarify ghetto. 
ghetto? Oh, yeah, okay. that definition. I need that. <laughs> I mean, just kind of being like unaware of the situation. Um, like loud. I, I don't really like loud, noisy women. Like I don't like yelling that much. You know what I'm saying? Unless it's necessary for the occasion. But, you know, so I like calm in my life. So I like my woman to be calm as well. So kind of like calm is calm. the opposite of ghetto to me. So, okay. you know what I mean? So. So for you, ghetto means like rowdy. Yeah, rowdy. Oh, okay. okay. You know, in okay. your face, like, eh, eh, eh. all that <laughs> shit. I don't, I don't do all that. Like, I just leave that in. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. All right. I got you. Cool. All right. Where do you live? <laughs> I'm in Maryland. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Okay. All right. You from D.C.? Uh, no, no. Where are you from? No, I'm, I live in Dallas, Texas. Okay, I'm like, okay. we're considering D.C. So. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Just, all right, cool. All right. <laughs> Any questions over here? So I have a question. So mm -hmm. loud, just raising your voice at all? I mean, just like, you know, I, you know, I, I try to, even in arguments, I, I keep calm. I don't, I don't yell. I like to talk about the issue instead okay. of getting emotional about the issue, which is nothing wrong with getting emotional, but learning how to, like, control your emotions. I think it's key in the woman that I'm looking for. So um, knowing how to control your emotion, I think that's more what I'm thinking about when I say not ghetto is emotional control. So. Okay, because I'm actually working on controlling my emotion. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. You seem calm now. Yeah, seem I'm calm, calm now, but it's like it depends on the situation mm -hmm. okay. where I might, you know. I'm not saying, yeah, I don't know, really not. <laughs> not really okay. Know, yeah. <laughs> All right. Perfect. Well, it is time to make a choice. It's tough. I know. We've got two <laughs> beautiful ladies left, so it is time to pop one of their balloons. Okay. Gotcha. Oh, go. okay. Let's head on over here. Where did we end up popping? I just, I'm not, I'm not loud and rowdy, but I just feel like I might be a lot. I know I feel chill right mm -hmm. now, <laughs> but like, I feel like I might be a lot and I don't yeah. know. Right. I, I really don't know. But in the event that I am, I pop just because she was brave enough to say that she's working on it. No, yeah. I'm not working on it, but because I mean I know me, I'm I'm where I am. But I just feel like I might be a, a lot gotcha. in a different setting, yeah. and I don't I don't want to feel like that, especially with my career, and my life period. I just what's your career? I'm a flight attendant. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so I just I don't know. Part of me feels like I might regret that, but mm -hmm. you know, no regrets, no regrets. Okay, okay. And the award for the most disliked in this episode goes to... All right, well, let's head on back. Oh, right, hey, let me have you scoot that way. Let me bring her up here, just so we can see if we have any final questions between the two of you. Good. Um, I do want to ask, so I did say I'm working on it. Is that an issue for you? Hey, why well, don't you working on it? We, you know, so okay. everybody's a work in progress. So, you know, okay. day day. Where do you, where you stay? I live in Houston. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Where do you live? Maryland. Okay. Yeah. Just say that. I work remote, so I mean, you know, I can. I so can that's travel. not an issue for you, me being in Houston. I can travel. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well then, with that being said, is it a yes for you for him? Yes. Okay. And is it a yes for you for her? Yes. We got a match. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that's the mic, okay. and you guys can go on up. Let's make some noise for them, y'all. <laughs> Here's a quick montage of the ridiculous moments in this episode. Guess who had the most entries? My name is Angelique. I'm 32. Okay. Uh, it was the lashes comment. I, women are gonna women. You right. know, we're gonna do what we're gonna do. And right. I think for a man to make a comment about the things that we do, makeup, hair, lashes, like I get that it's not your preference, but let women be women. Right. Or don't date us. I knew you was gonna say that. Why y'all be saying that? I don't know why y'all say it. I know I said it because maybe y'all don't realize that that's an option. Hmm. Okay. You know, we're going to do what we're going to do. Right. And to constantly have a man say something is like, oh, I just wanted to put my lash on today. Right. Or I but just so, wanted to go to my extension. So this, this, this is my thing, right? So if you if you saying don't date women, who are you looking for? Because if all the men saying we don't like that, why you keep doing it? I didn't say all the men say that. I'm, I'm talking about I'm men that do you. say that. I feel like, so men are going to say that. And right. most men could care less if we wear lashes or makeup or hair or whatever the case is. Right. But for you to make a comment about it, it's different because you're not just allowing me to be me. You want me to be what you want me to be. And that's fine. Right. However, I don't want to be that. I feel that. Or any other woman, okay. essentially. I feel that's that. All. You stand like a baddie. I you stand stands. like a baddie? Yes. And 
I'm traumatized. So For like what? I did I did it a guy like briefly and I tried to give him the benefit of the doubt, but I saw like sass and I tried to like, uh, oh, maybe. And I was wrong. He was really sassy, so So this is how you stand? Yes. Okay. Look. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> So that's the only thing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So it is time to pop a balloon. Mm. Which one of these ladies are you going to be popping? You just keep. Uh oh. Okay. Why do we end up popping? It's the second time, girl. You made it to the end. You did it again. What's going on? No. Um, I think, you know, everyone is on their journey, right? Right, right. And I, I think for me, since I am in my season of dating intentionally, that I would like a man who's a little. Right. stronger in that department because I know that we all fall short. Right, okay, right. hello. And at this moment, I would like someone that could just just a little bit, pull me in a little bit. I'm not bad, but I'm not good. Right. You know what I mean? I'm yeah. not perfect. I'm not bad. I just want somebody a little stronger than me in that, in this season. Right. I understand that. You know? That's cool. Yeah. That's it. But you look great. Get you right here. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to take it back too. <laughs> All right, so right. So why did we end up popping? You know, it was the age. I'm I'm 32. You're 28. Is that what I remember? Correct. Yeah. And when you first said it, I thought about popping, but I was like, no, nah, girl, don't block blessings. Just keep on listening. But it just kept popping up in my head, and mm. I have to listen to my gut. Okay, she's never gonna lead me astray. That's so. A I'm sorry. That that was it. But yeah, very put together, very calm. We love it. Don't forget, he says he's 29. Don't want you to hang on and then you pop last minute again. All right. So okay, go ahead, answer his question. Because <laughs> you were right, and I did think about it. It it is the age. I hate it. I know. I'm sorry, but I thought about it while listening. And so how come you didn't pop when he first came out and said his age, 29? Because, like I, I said about the other guy, I don't want to block my blessing because of age. Okay. Um, and had it not played back in my head while listening to you speak to other people, then I probably wouldn't have popped it. But because I know that it's sitting there, then that means it's time for me to pop. I, I, you got, I got to listen to my gut. You know, being a Christian, Holy Spirit is filling you. So that's what's guiding me. Nisha, that's how it. No, old was you again? If you I'm 32. Me. 32, okay. So I'm sorry. <laughs> you, you enter a different threshold at 30. Everybody can say it. I'm sorry. And I just I just couldn't. I'm sorry. But you look great. It's the hat. You look like Uncle them on the block. And I wasn't feeling it. Like who? Like uncles, like uncle, on the block. Uncle on like the, the block. Uncle them on the block. Uncle like on the block. Trying to pick up the young thing. Right. Yeah, I wasn't feeling it. Right. Yeah. I feel it. <laughs> Right. But I do have one request. I do apologize. Um, can you take off the hat? I can. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Yes, I appreciate yes, that. <laughs> appreciate that. <laughs> yes, ma'am. I was like, what is underneath yes, that? Yes, ma'am. No. You, yes, ma'am. I am bald. Nothing. Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> nothing. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Yeah. All right. We've got our lone balloon over here. Any questions between the two of you? Mm. No. Mm. You look like you're getting ready to pop. I think I am. Okay. I'm sorry. No, All right, good. so why did we pop? <laughs> Honestly, I think, um, okay, you know what? I'm going to just say it. Okay, I know that I might be your type, probably, and I know that because of the way that you were looking at me. Right. Like, you know, you could eat me up on this floor and right. you know I think when I'm initially meeting someone especially when there's a thousand different beautiful women standing here right. it's uncomfortable right. to constantly look at look be looked at like right. they want to eat you up right. in that moment like you know granted love it yes let right. my man look at me like that but right here right now it is so uncomfortable right you know right. I, I can't see <laughs> and I think I get that. I get that all the time at work, and I just be like, "All right, bro. Like, I'm just trying to be here." So you don't so, you don't think that it's like the I think the male just, like that's really feeling you. You don't think that's no. Like, I feel that. That's why I said I I know for a right. fact that I'm your type. It's just it makes me so uncomfortable right now. Right. And that's why I was kind of like waiting. I'm like, damn, maybe I could just I could chill. Right, so, is right, he your right. type? You know, my friends are gonna say I don't really have a type. So, eh. Everyone looks different. Love is love. You feel me? Right. So there's that. 